say he's just a friend. Oh, and you say he's just a friend. That was a beautiful night's sleep I just had. It was fantastic. Uh, I feel like I'm a rejuvenated man. Now, it's a little bit early morning. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's about 6 a.m. But it is a fantastic day outside. Oh my, it's looking good. Uh, doesn't this place have a fucking coffee pot somewhere? Coffee pot around here. So we got a nice spread. I'm not going to drink fucking ale in the morning. There's coffee pot around here somewhere. Hey, what's this? This looks like it might be able to brew something. That looks like coffee-ish grounds. What is that? Espresso or something? Fuck, put some bay leaves in there. I don't know. Where's the water? You just have... How does this fucking thing work? What is this, like a, a Keurig or something? What the fuck? Created a potion of... That's not coffee. What the fuck is this? That's worth a lot of money. All these stupid flowers and shit I've been picking while I've been rolling down the roads? You could just put them together? And make things that are worth money? That's worth 60 bucks! I just slapped some shit together. I even fucking... What the fuck? This is beautiful! Oh. Well, I mean, it's... It's not all beautiful. Sometimes you fail. <laughs> well, this turned out to be a better morning than I thought. You know, I was having a fun time just, uh, <laughs> hanging out with you guys, but <laughs> apparently there's money to be made out here. I've noticed that, uh, you, you gotta be good at two things. One, there's the people that have money, have capital, and there's the people that don't. And I'm unfortunately one of the ones that don't. But then there's also the people that are willing to use their, their muscles and might to acquire money, strong arm it from others. Eh, I mean, I avoid conflict. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna risk my life. No, that's that's silly. But, uh, you know, I've always had a fun fascination with flowers. So beautiful, look at these. Are you kidding me? Eh, I'll pluck a little bit of these as I'm going down the road. And apparently, you can smash this shit up with a mortar and pestle and make it into something. Oh, and I can add to my butterfly collection. Look at that, Uncle. You laughed at me growing up. You said that boy's a big fagola. Because all he does is pick flowers and shit. He'll never amount to anything. Well, listen here, you motherfucker. Apparently, my flower picking is a benefit to everyone. Because I can get some serious jack. Oh, click, clack, bazoink. Oh, my. This one's got thorns. You gotta watch out. Boink. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here, dog. Hey. Back up. I'll do it again. I fucking swear on me mom. Back up. Go back to your owner. Oh shit, there's multiple. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Alright, I'm not... I don't have any... I don't have any treats. Get away from me. Shit, they're fucking everywhere. Hey, who the fuck... Which one of you assholes left your dogs out again? I bet you was that fucking asshole dog guy over in Falkreath. He just lets them roam, dude. It's like every time I turn around, they're in my fucking front yard. And they're mean. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to... Alright? Wrath of my ancestors. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the furnace treatment. Get out of here. I killed one of them. I'll do it to... Yeah. Back up. Keep running. Alright. I didn't want to do that, but you made me. What? Hey! He's stuffing fucking garnets in his wolves! Hey. <laughs> Come back here. I don't want Gerald to know I did this. this is, we are kind of on the edge of my property still. We're gonna have to get rid of these bodies here. Look, I told, I told him, like, the last four fucking days, all right? Every time I go outside, his fucking dogs are in my yard. They attack my fucking horse. And I went out there one time. They are just dragging themselves behind the horse, teething on his nutsack. I was like, listen here, dude. All right, that's a thoroughbred stallion. If you keep, if they, if they mess up his purity and they chew off his nutsacks and I'm unable to breed my beautiful horse, then we're going to have some issues. And you know what the best part is? I mean, I, I, I feel bad. I do feel bad that I sort of take advantage of people a lot of the time and steal their stuff in order to make some money. I do. I, I, I do. I mean, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> or else I would stop. 
But uh, I, I feel like this new way of making money, I'm not hurting anyone, you know? I'm not, I'm not hurting anyone at all. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. I mean, these flowers don't belong to anyone. Hello? Ah! Ah! It's like a sentinel of nature itself. I'm sorry. Oh. What have I done? Arrows. I didn't use arrows. Oh. It killed a hunter. I feel like you were sent to stop me from collecting all these ingredients. And making potions that are worth lots of money. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I've gotten a taste of the amount of shekels I can get doing this, so I'm not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> and I don't want people asking questions about you. So we'll go ahead and we'll find you a nice burial place. Here we go. Nobody's going to look up here in this little crevice. Look at that. And plus you got a nice view, you know? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I should really see a therapist. Hey, hello. Excuse me. I think we're neighbors, but you're like awfully close to my side of the lake. I was just wondering like exactly what you're doing in here. Excuse me. Hello? Hey. How you doing? I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Okay, yeah, that's great and everything, but you're uh awfully close to my side of the you're awfully close to my side of the mountain here. Take all these here. It's so nice to have a visitor. Yeah, that's great and everything, but you're like really, really close to. I notice you got some ingredients here. It's so nice to have a visitor. Well, you got a lot of ingredients in here. Oh, look at this song of the alchemist. Yo, you know alchemy lady? Yo, you got you got some more ingredients down here. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a look. Oh, there we go. See, I found your coffee maker thing. This is where I make all my stuff, too. What the fuck is all this? Oh, she's got it. Look at this! This looks like those little piles that my family members come back from the camps in. Uh, there's a lot of... There's... There's... Things that aren't so good in here. Poisons and... Whoa! Yeah, whoa! You got some good stuff. Not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of jealous of your setup. You see, mine's like... I never got a basement in my house. Uh, they said the water table was too high. You know, like, you're really close to the lake, but you have the basement. You know what I'm saying? Ma'am? Hey! Hey! No, I just I just wanted to, I mean, like, how do you get the basement? The water's right there. Like, you, that thing would be flooded in a heartbeat, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay, I know. I, I know I wasn't supposed to. I, hey! I know I wasn't. I didn't ask to use the little fucking coffee maker thing. All right, fine. You know what you asked for, you fucking old bitch. You know what? You made me do this. I didn't want to do this. <gasps> but you made me do this. But, uh, you know, honestly, I didn't mean you any harm. But then you went all crazy. You know? You know what I mean. All right, hold on. Let's just position you for a good night's rest. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What the fuck was I thinking? You live... Ah, uh, fuck! <sighs> Jesus Christ, she's like... She's like my fucking next door neighbor and I fucking killed her. It's fucking all naked and shit in here. God damn it. They're, no, it's, they're gonna know it's me? There's no other explanation. I'm the fucking guy that looks at her all day. It's like, what the fuck? I just get these fucking stupid situations. No one's gonna look back here. This is so far off the beaten fucking path. I I, I think I, I think I should be all right. How the fuck am I supposed to clean this? I don't have a fucking washing machine. I mean, I could bring it to a cleaner, I guess, but <sighs> what am I gonna say? Out of my fucking period on the bed? I, I could say I could say I spilled some grape juice, some crayon apple. That would work, I guess. Just just cover it and hope nobody sees it. You know, nobody's gonna see that. You can barely even tell now. Oh, it's a beautiful...
beautiful day outside. I did a lot of shit and accidentally killed a woman. But I can now work. Now let's look at these little things I made here. Oh my god, I got a bunch of them. They're, some of them are worth a couple hundred bucks. I'm doing pretty good for myself, not gonna lie. Song of the Alchemists. Ancient Tales of Dwemer, part five. Wait, so according to this book, this is called alchemy. Where you, you mix the ingredients together and make potions. The book hints that it's kind of an honorable trade. Maybe there's other people out there that do it. Maybe if I head to the big city, there might be someone there that can help me further my knowledge. It's an alchemy shop right next to the old minch, Bellathor. This is ridiculous, I didn't even know. Oh, you got a lot of stuff here. This is definitely the place I want to be. This stuff looks good. Oh, hey, how you doing? I was just looking at your stuff. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. I think I'll just... I'm going to sell her my potions that I have so far. Except for the healing ones, so I can keep those to myself. Alright, so I have... Let's see, what do I... Have? I have 1,084 gold right now. But oh my, I fucking, like, doubled! I was... Look how concerned she is! She's so fucking broke, I'm not going to be able to pay my, my fucking rent this month. It was one of those look. potions I sold. It was, it was the, uh... It was that invisibility one or something. That paralysis one. <gasps> Look, she sells the recipe for it. I could make a shitload of those things. And then come back here and fucking make a shitload more money. I'm buying it. That's worth the money. Come back any what do we got here? Well, what do we got here? Books. Prowless poison recipe. Briarheart Swamp Fungal Pod. What the fuck is a Briarheart? And what the fuck's a... What's a swamp? There's no swamps around here. Okay, so I asked Arcadia, and she says, the best place to find this stupid swamp fungal pod is in Morthal. I've only heard about Morthal a couple times, and it's an absolute butthole, supposedly. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. I've only heard bad things about Morthal, but, you know, <laughs> if I can make some more money like I just did. Did you see how fast that was, man? It was like a, it was like a, a, like a rapid fire crossbow. Just bing, bop, boom, bop. Shackles in the pocket. Faster than I could eat. What the fuck happened here? Dude. What? No, he's just taking a rest after kicking all that ass. Get on up there, buddy. Whoop, whoop. Very nice. Oh, wow. This place seems fucking beautiful. But, supposedly, it's one of the best places to find alchemy ingredients. That's what Arcadia said, so uh, if she leads me astray, I'm going to be very upset. Look at all these. They're everywhere. <gasps> there it is! Swamp fungal pods. That's what they look like. They, they look like little titties without nipples. I'll take a couple of these. i got to be really perceptive if I'm going to see all these fucking things. I found the gold mine, my friends. Look at all these. Look at all these, all the way around this little lake. They're everywhere. Now all I have to do is figure out what a briar heart is and where I can get it. Um, uh, look, I understand there's some civil strife here. I understand that, okay? But there's no need, oh my. Okay. There's no need to kill all the guards. I mean, look, I'm here to I'm here to make money. All right, that's first and foremost the thing I'm trying to do. And this civil war that's happening is getting out of fucking control. Please, could you not? Why? Why would I join your? Oh my! Oh, you should just stay inside, dude. 
Holy shit! Why would you... Why would I join you? I just saw what you fucking did to everyone. This is a fucking madhouse. Oh, they, they're not finished. Oh, here we go. This is getting rough. This is turned pretty rough. Everyone, I would recommend going back to your... Yeah, you need to... <laughs> everyone, go back to the inn. Look, I'm not, I'm not going to say I benefit from other people fighting, but what I am going to say is that, uh, you know, I'm definitely not going to let all this stuff go to waste. And so I think it's, it's my job as a, uh, I guess, as a, a citizen of Whiterun to really just uh, kind of clean up and make sure that all these materials don't go to waste. Fancy ropes. You a wizard or something? No, but I do happen to have some lightly used armor that I just picked up recently from a surplus dealer. I was wondering if you'd want to, <laughs> you know, spend some of your money on it. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's a little bit. I, now, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of it has some blood stains, but you don't have to worry about a thing because uh, I think it'll wash out. You know, if you really just take good care of it, I think it might wash out. But I'm going to do my part here uh, to clean up a little bit. This guy's pretty heavy here. There we go. And you don't want your first impressions for your city to be like just piles of dead bodies. So we need to clean these up, get these streets back to normal so that we can bring in more merchants in here. And then everyone will have more gold. What's good for the economy is good for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make a living in this town. How you doing, boss? Listen, dude, I got a bunch of armor Welcome I need to, to offload Mates. on you. Looking do you mind? Yourself oh, look at that. Damage. You got plenty of money here. We got plenty of money. Okay, see, look what we got. Look what we got. Look what we got. We got hunting bow. Boom, boom, boom. All right? That's a deal. That's a steal. That's a deal. But look at this. Look at this. Imperial bow. Check this out. Check this out. It's got a scope on it. One for standing, one for crouching. What do you say about that, huh? Have you ever seen something so good in your fucking life? He's dumbfounded. He didn't know what to do. Boom, boom, boom. How about that, hmm? One of those? Alright, now I got five Imperial Swords. I'm gonna keep one for myself, and I'm gonna give four to you. How's that sound? Huh? Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Alright, now here's where it gets a little bit nerdy. We got a great sword. Boom. Not even gonna look at it. Mace. Boom. Not even gonna look at it. Orcish Sword. What's that? Huh? Yeah, that's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit unique. That's a little bit, as they say, exotic. Boom. There you go. You can have that one. All right. Now, uh, that's a special item. All right. That's one of a kind. I'm not going to sell that to you. But I do have two steel battle axes, double-sided. Shaga would adore these. He loves axes. All right. So you take both of those, give those to him, send him my regards. Uh, and then I got this imperial armor. Now, I'm not sure what your stance is on the war, but for a collector, in 20 years you hold on to this, could be an investment once this war's over, you know, kind of like the Nazi uniforms are now. So boom, boom, boom. You take those and uh, take some of these shields and we're going to be good to go. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't know what the fuck happened, but I... Good doing business with you. Oh my God. See, that's the best thing in the world. You swindle a man. You absolutely swindle him and he'll still say, thank you for doing business. That's how you know you're a good salesman. Okay? What are, these guys? What are you doing here? You're looking like a fucking retard. But I'm going to go see Arcadia. See if I can uh, figure out how to get those briar hearts. Give a holler if you have any questions. Give a holler if I have any questions. If there's one thing I've always loved doing, it's giving hollers. So essentially how you get a briar heart is apparently there's this mythical creature called a called a hag raven. It's part bird, part witch. And they replace the heart of a reachman with a briar heart. And that's the briar heart I need to get. They're apparently pretty formidable warriors. And I'm not a fighting guy. I think it's pretty obvious. I'm not going to fight anyone. So what I need to do is find someone who has a little bit of muscle. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of muscle. You seem to know what you're doing. I talked to you earlier. And she indicated that her services might be up for sale. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at her. She looks like she knows what the fuck she's doing. She's a pretty badass lady. I am an artisan, painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. 
After all, where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see it? Uh, it seems pretty edgy, but I, I like it. See, okay, well, is what we're going up against. We're going to go fight mythical creatures, and we're going to go find the people that they, like, replace their hearts with these pine cone things, and we're going to take the pine cones, and I'm going to use them to make a lot of money. You know, I take this as a good sign, but she doesn't seem too phased by that. I think... I think you're going to be worth the investment, All right? So I have, to, I have to spend 500 in order to go get the Briarheart and then make more money. You have chosen wisely. Lead on, and I shall follow. And we Let's didn't go. even talk terms of contract here, like how long you're going to be my servant. So I guess it's indefinite. Anyways, I'm going to sell a couple of potions real quick that I had made previously. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> oh, Pelothor. That's a, that's a good one. You told me that one last time. Hey! 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 Stop pushing me around, dude. I'm trying to talk to my best friend, Pelothor, over here. You're so far away now. It feels like I'm shouting across the place anyways. You're a real minch, dude. You're a good guy. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna sell you some potions. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I see you're not really running too high on the profits uh, this month here, Bellathor, but it's okay. I don't have a whole lot to sell you. I just have a couple. All right, so I'm going to sell you some of these. Some of these. Some of these. Some of these. A couple of these. You know, just a couple things I got laying around. Me and, uh... I can tell you're a discriminating customer. Perhaps you're a wealthy one, too. I, well, you know, I'm getting there, man. Look at this. 3,400? Huh? Doing pretty good for myself. All right, let's go. All right, so my sources say that there's apparently... Come on, people. Jesus Christ, I have to do everything. Fucking guard's lazy-ass motherfucker. Get, get over there. What are you doing, dude? Clean the city up. All right, so I heard from someone that the best way of getting a Briar Heart is actually over in the Reach. So I'm going to have to go find fucking some asshole in the Reach. Now, the Reach is, uh, is a place... That I've kind of almost been to. It's uh, it's over here near Markarth. So Janassa, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go on foot from here. But uh, this is quite the long adventure we have ahead of us. I mean, this is quite a ways. So you need to keep up, Buttercup, because it's gonna, it's gonna get. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna be on foot for quite a long time. Am I going the wrong direction already? Look, there's fucking dogs out here already. I'm telling you. All right. Calm, cool, cool it, keep, keep it calm, keep it cool. Whoa, Janassa! Fantastic job! That is incredible! Do you know how long it takes me to kill this stuff? He just whipped out a bow and got him in like a heartbeat. That was, that, you know what? You, you know what? Round of applause, Janassa. That was fantastic, thank you. It's worth the money already. I've had to deal with these fucking mutts all the time. All the time I do. I look, there's a there's a spider thing down there. That's a big fucking spider. Take care of that thing, Janassa. Get after it. You got after the the wolves. You can take care of that. Ooh, he's hitting them. Oh, she's got a sword too. Uh oh, she's going down with the spin the wind. Getting that Garen technique. Fantastic job, Jan. You know every every penny worth every penny. The amount of wealth I've accumulated this day, I mean, I think, I think I finally found the ticket of life. I got my own little bodyguard, I got uh, some money, uh, I made a couple potions, uh, I killed an old lady, you know, but you gotta take the good with the bad, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, there's always gonna be some bad parts to everything, but um, I'm thinking that this might finally be my uh, my calling. Janasta, if you could please, I'm not paying you for nothing. Please take care. Uh oh, you did a missy. You missed them. Missed that one. Please take care of the wolf. Apparently, I don't pay you enough. All right, I think I found the place. It's out here in the reach. Uh oh, he sees me. Ooh, God, he hit me too. Fuck. Hey, sir. Sir. Ah! 
Oh, this, I might be in for something more than I thought. Oh my, there's more coming. Hey, oh, oh, that's a briar heart! That's what I'm trying to get at! Hello, sir! Okay, this is, this is gonna turn, this is gonna turn into quite a battle, I can tell. I think I got him! Hey, yo, muscles! Cool it. Everyone calm down. It's okay. It's not okay. It is, this is the opposite of okay. Oh my. I am out of options here. Alright, so what I gotta do, what I gotta do is I gotta find the guy. Uh oh, his body is on top of the other guy's body. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> here we go! Alright, we got a, oh, you beautiful little fruit. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna want you. Boom, headshot. And one of these. And water breathing. Why not? And you know what? Just for the memories, I'll take the headdress as well. Excuse me! I would love a way out of here. Oh, Janassa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Janassa. I, I, where were you? You were supposed to help me. Okay, okay, now that I got, now I got the thick sauce here. Alright, now Janassa, we're looking for these little pine cone things. They look like, uh, I mean, they look like little pine cone things. Okay, so, uh, they're, they're gonna be on these guys called Briar Hearts. <clears throat> and they're gonna be hard to find. But I'm thinking there's probably another one around here somewhere. Janassa. I think they're up here. Take the take the fucking take the heart. Oh shit. Uh oh. This is not a good situation. Janassa, if you could just get in here and just make this whole situation a little bit a little more cool, calm, and collected, please. Thank you. What the hell was that? Come on. Briarheart geese? Huh. They're fucking creepy. Get out of here. Holy shit. Crafting feathers? Daedra hearts? Hagraven claws? We found some very, very nice things here. Hey, what the fuck? What do you mean? What do you do? It's a fucking cat person. What are you doing here? This is my house, dude. Hey, my property, dude, private Janassa. I mean, we shouldn't have to kill this fucking guy. He's trespassing. Tell him to get off the fucking pro- Oh shit. Hey, 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 hey. Keep it cool. Keep it- You made me do this. On my property, dude. Jesus. What? Janassa, I mean... <sighs> Whatever. Alright, look, this is my house. Um, you know, come, come on, come on in. It's not, it's not much. You know, I, I own the side of the lake. Um, it's not much, but come on in, come on in. Check this out, check this out, okay, okay. We got ingredients. We're gonna go with a briar heart. And then some of those fucking ground titties that I found earlier. Where are those at? There we go. Paralysis. 233 bucks for that thing. Plus, it leveled me up. That's pretty sweet. And I got a Daedra Heart. I don't know what that is, but that's worth a lot on its own. <laughs> Alright, Janessa. Alright. We crafted some stuff. We did a good job. And I really appreciate you helping out. Although, you could have been a little bit faster. I was kind of getting my ass kicked back there. Anyways. Let's close this real quick. We're going to go... Uh, I know I know you're tired. We've been going for a while. But uh, we need to get up to Whiterun and uh, hit the market. Don't back up and look at me like that, bitch. Fucking paying you to fucking stand here and enjoy my company. All right, I think I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm doing all right. I now, all right. See, before I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of uh, kind of in a bad mood. I was kind of on a little, a little emotional uh, roller coaster there. 
because I made a little bit of money, and then I spent my money on the horse, and the horse didn't turn out to be a really great investment. I mean, it was kind of all right. It was all right. But it didn't turn out to be the best investment ever. You know what I'm saying? So, I, uh, not going to lie. I made a little bit of money back. But truth be told, I was kind of just in the slumps, man. I was still middle class as fuck. But, uh, but I think finally I might have found my calling. You know, I mean, I've made pretty good money today. Almost 5000 bucks. Just, uh, picking flowers, prancing around. It did get kind of, it did get some big boy activity. I did have to, uh, I did have to call on, you know, a follower. Kind of get them to muscle up some, some shit, some help. I said to myself, Shekelstein, this is where it separates the boys from the men. The people that are willing to take the risk versus the people that aren't. Janassa, are you keeping up? Come on. Keep running. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the end of that. Hey. Hey! You can't run faster than me. Shit. It's not running me. Alright. It, uh, I went riding through the night, and honestly, I'm fucking... Where the fuck did Janassa go? Anyways, I think even though it's the middle of the day, I'm gonna take a nice little, little nap. It was nice adventuring today, but uh, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I'll see you in the morning, all right? So uh, let, let me, uh, I mean tomorrow. I'll just see, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe tonight, I don't know. Whenever I wake up, all right? Just fuck it, just let me sleep, please, thank you. Thank you, fuck. I'm nothing but a failure. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I try. Selling stuff in the market. Jewelry. It, it doesn't matter. I never end up with enough gold. Even that fucking horse I bought. I just want to make it. I just want to be somebody. And I just, I just can't. All, all I am is just a, a fucking middle class piece of shit. That has sex with dead people. That's all I am. I'm a fucking disgrace. I don't even belong here. Come on, horsey. Let's go find our true calling. You know, I even tried to sell chickens for this Thanksgiving thing. If you just openly strike it, this lady will freak out. Declare me an enemy of the city. But if I make it look like a working accident, like I accidentally <laughs> rolled this cart over it, little motherfucker. Fucking piece of shit. Die! You're in a fucking... You're, the, the, you are lifting me and the fucking cart. Will you just fucking die already? The thing's made out of steel. This is... No wonder these people fucking love eating these things. Die! Die! It's perfectly okay. It's wearing it like a hat. There we go. Oh, I went flying. One chicken breast and some feathers. In the in the kettle. In the kettle here. Okay. Um, first of all, we gotta put this in the. F okay. Here we go. Hey, just keep your hands to yourself. Hey, you shut up. You said I could use your forge whenever I want. You didn't say I had to use it for metal. All right. I'm trying to barbecue a chicken, so we can uh, eat it for. <laughs> So we can eat it for Thanksgiving. There's one thing missing from your, your, your table set, you know what I'm saying? 
There's one thing missing. Guess what it is? 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 You're missing poultry, my dude. You need a nice chicken. Okay, so guess what I got? Guess what I came in with? Guess. A chicken breast. You're right. I know. Look at the surprise on your face. It's okay. Dude, I got you covered. I know tomorrow it's last minute notice. So I was thinking probably 600 gold for the chicken breast. All right. I see you're going to offer me one gold. That's You're kind of lowballing me there. You're kind of lowballing me, which is fine. Which is fine. I understand. But um, I would really enjoy it if you could up your price a little bit. We're going to have some issues here. Fine. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. All right, you know what? You know what? F you guys are going to have a shitty table cuz uh I'm not going to accept these deals. All right, I got I'm going to find someone that appreciates my chicken. Okay? And I even fucked that up. Nobody would buy them for more than just a gold. Just a piece of gold. Help a guy out. You know? You guys spare some coin. I really appreciate it. Just trying to find my way in life. While performing in a tavern, I couldn't help but notice an enchanting figure in the corner looking at me with those beautiful, beautiful eyes. Handsome, if not for the bald head. He seemed to be the life of the party. Everyone seemed to love him. He's a man that I have come to envy. While everyone drank with him and partied, I stood in the shadows, ignored by everyone. And sad, very sad, nobody here likes me. Nobody here even gives a shit. Even when I'm performing, you only give me 30 gold per performance. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Maybe my luck's finally turned around. That little city next to my house, they finally taken notice of me. The Jarl wrote me a letter personally. Wrote me a letter. Shekelstein. Maybe I'm more successful than I thought, you know. I, 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 I had given up on myself. But now... I mean, I'm kidding. I have first name basis correspondence with a fucking Jarl. That's kind of a big deal. I mean, if I'm gonna speak to the Jarl, I gotta look my best. Hey, how you doing, kid? Are your parents around? I'm here to buy some clothing. Aaron said you got here. Ah, oh, some fine clothes. Here we go. That's gonna take. That's gonna take a good hunk of my money. But I gotta look good. I gotta look good. Oh my! Do I look like a million bucks, or do I look like a million bucks? It's time to go meet a Jarl. No more playing in taverns and performing for everyone out in the city square. Finally, I'm gonna be up in the court with the aristocracy. You gotta start your career somewhere. Where do you want to go? Climbing back and we'll be off. Okay, this is a big moment for me. I gotta look good. I gotta speak nicely, pronounce, and enunciate every word as if I'm aristocratic. Okay, let me. <clears throat> let me work here. <clears throat> okay, let me make sure. Looking good. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I even doubt myself? Look at these eyebrows. Oh my. Okay. Whew. Deep breaths. This is this is this is your moment, Shekelstein. This is your moment. Ah, oh. Jarl Sidgear. It's. I got your letter and I came as soon as I could. How are you today? <clears throat> yeah, right here, thank you. Why have taxes not come in from Granite Hill, Nenya? We should send some guards down there. They are only a little late, Jarl. The trade routes are affected by the war. We should give them another day. Very well. But when their emissary arrives, I want words with him. <laughs> oh my. I could learn from this man. Did you see the way he handled that? He takes the money. Taxes are late. He has a stern hand. I like this man. That uh, that advisor there. I'm not so sure about. Yes. What is it that you want? I got your letter, 
sir, and I am the Shekelstein Bandit at your service. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. What There's stories? a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. Black market stuff, I know the about it. The they yeah. were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. What, what does he mean? Sir, I think you may have contacted the wrong person here for this one. Um. Yeah, I... What do you mean take care of it? Kill the leader of Banner Miss Tower. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. Oh, so Helvar, I think you... the guards are looking sloppy. So I look. I'm sorry. I, I I think you got the wrong guy. I, I I'm not a hands-on kind of person. I usually kind of deal with uh, bartering, underhanded stuff. I got the whole black market thing you're talking about. I did. I got it. Okay, I got it. But I don't think I'm the right person for the job. You know. You know what I'm saying? Look. Oh, uh, wait, hold on a second. I remember seeing that man. Yes, Father, which cask should we open? That man. Just bring any of them, lad. His glistening bald head. Do you remember him? He looked like he was capable. He was strong. He seems like he might be able to help me out in this situation. All right, Jarl, you got it. I'll take care of that bandit. Don't you even worry about a thing. I'll be back in a moment. That man in the tavern, he's the man I need. He is able to kill these bandits. Did you see the muscles on him? All right, I've been on the road for three days, but I hope I might be able to get this man to help me. Need anything? Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Ugh. Hey, barkeep. Uh, some Manischewitz, please. Thanks. How you doing, pal? Look, uh, I couldn't help but notice last time I was in here. You might have noticed me earlier. I was playing the, uh, the, the loot over there in the, in the corner. People were throwing tips at me. I didn't need tips. I was just playing for fun, you know. Uh, people were throwing money at me, though. That was, that was kind of cool. Anyways, um, I am a very influential businessman over in Falkreath, and I couldn't help but notice your armor, you got the sword, you got the chiseled jawline, beautiful head of hair. That's a new hairstyle. I haven't seen that one before. Um, and I was wondering if you could, <laughs> you know, help be some muscle on a job. Uh, you seem like you're pretty capable. And, uh, and I'll pay you handsomely. What do you, what, what, what do you say? By blade or by spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. All you need to do is pay my fee. Oh, that's fine. That's awesome. All right, well, uh, how much are you talking here? I'm thinking, all right, listen here. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little short on cash. So I was thinking maybe after we do the job, that's when I'd pay you. Because that way, I get my cut, and then I see how much of a percentage I can give you. I'm thinking 20%, since I'll be doing a lot of the legwork and a lot of the negotiating, but you'll be doing some of the strong muscle-type shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm super saying? Oh, uh, that's that's a larger number than I thought. 500 gold, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of there. <laughs> he's not, he's not shirking away. Okay, he, all right, you're serious about that. Okay. Uh, all right. This better pay off. What dangers and wonders shall we discover in the frozen waste? I can hardly wait to find out. Well, at least you're upbeat about it. You know what I'm saying. All right, uh, all right, I will. Come on. Let's, uh, let's go get this bandit leader. Uh, so apparently it's me and you, which, <laughs> let's face it, buddy. Huh? I'm kind of a uh, warrior myself. No, I'm just kidding. I really, I really avoid conflict at every turn. But, uh, but you, 
you seem like you're pretty capable. So I, I'm hoping you'll be able to take out a, a group of people. It's probably about 15 bandits. Is that fine with you? Look at that. He doesn't... He doesn't even give a hoot. He looks so fucking stoic. I knew I, I picked the right guy for the job. Picked the right guy for the job. All right, come on, Belrand. We got bandits to wipe out. Come on, keep up. Keep up. I forgot to get you a horse, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe if you didn't charge me so much, I'd be able to afford renting you a horse. But, <laughs> you know, you're kind of expensive, so... Ah, oh, shit. Close. Close the door in your face. <coughs> Alright, come on. Serious. Let's get, let's get serious about this. We gotta get there. The Jarl's counting on this boat. Ran no more holdups. Alright. So keep up, dude. I don't want you tired by the time we get there, though. So you better conserve your energy. Whew. Man. My fucking ass hurts. It's been, what, what? Two, three days of, of riding? Uh, bell ring, can you get that? It's only like the sixth skeever we've come across. Come on, get it. Get it. God, you are so good. You're worth every penny. Oh my fucking dear god. Bellrand. Bellrand, take care of it. Oh my. That's quite the. Oh no, horsey. Horsey, get away. Get away. No, let the big guy take care of this. Look at this. We hired the muscles for a reason. Look at that, he smacked it, sent it straight up. That was a duck, you're ev worth every penny! Okay, Belrand, this is it. Okay, so, I, I know you're keeping an eye on it, but... Outlaws and brigands are the lowest of the low. They prey on their own countrymen for profit. I know they do, which is why you, with those big, muscly biceps, need to get in there and kill these people. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the money I get from the Jarl for killing these dudes, and I'm going to help us both out. Okay, so this could be the start of a good career for us. All right, are you paying attention? Good. All right, now, I'm not exactly a good fighter, but I'm thinking I might be able to help you in some way. Okay, I'm going to give you another ghost dog to go along with your ghost dog. Okay? Up here. Come on. Get in there. I'm not. I'm. Oh my God, look at that. Look at his form. Oh, he's beating him. He's beating him. Good job, Belrand. Get him. Get him, Belrand. Oh my God, that powerful hit. That powerful hit. Holy shit. He's better than I thought. Oh. Bellrand! It didn't even look like you did it! It didn't even look like you fucking needed any help! That was fucking incredible! What the fuck? That was incredible! Why are you covered in shit? That was, that was phenomenal! Look out here. This guy had a bunch of stuff on him! Look at this! They had, they had a chow! Oh my god! Holy shit! Look at that! Fuck it, they, they just had shekels sitting on a table. Oh, back up, Buttercup. I see what you're doing. I see what you were eyeballing, you looking away all bashful and shit. It's my shit. Alright, look, I already paid you your flat fee, so don't get fucking greedy. Okay, these are my shekels. Close the door! Close the gate or I'll beat your ass. What do we got here in the chest? 60 more gold and a painted hide shield. I don't think I'll ever need that. Oh, man. That's something else. That's something else. That was a, that was a good job. I'm still very impressed with you. That was a fantastic job. Let's see what they had upstairs. Dude, with all the loot I'm getting right now. By the way, the light is hitting you in such a way you look fucking majestic. You're looking really good right now. All right. Like a beautiful, kind of exotic Keanu Reeves look, but with a skullet, which kind of makes you look like the Crypt Keeper. But, don't, uh, don't look down, don't look sad, because think about it like this. What makes you happier than anything? Hearing about my successes, okay? With all this shit I just gathered in this little tower, 
I've almost paid off the amount that I had to pay you to come here in the first place. That perked you up, didn't it? Huh? That's fantastic. That means once I get the reward from the from the Jarl, I'll be in nothing but profits at this point. Minus the cost of my fine clothing and, and the, the rides to get to every city, but uh you know, I'm doing I'm doing pretty well right now. This is not bad. Hey. Bowrand. Bowrand! Pay it power it. So he's looking at the fucking clouds. Who do you think that is? Who is that? You think he's a good guy? Excuse me, sir. Sir, we're on our way back to the town, but I was wondering if you were a merchant or anything. What do you need? Need something? Oh, you're a pilgrim. All right, Belrand, we need to stop looking at the glorious outdoors. Okay, you've took me on enough little side adventures. Oh, let's, let's just get back to town. Come on. Still, though, still, though, that that fucking little shield thing? What was that? It was like a force field shield. How did you do that? That was insane, man. I'm still so stoked about the way you handled those guys. That was insane. All right, so. All right, all right, all right. we're about to go in here, and we're going to talk to the Jarl, okay? So let me do the talking okay you're fight guy I'm talk guy we're gonna make a good team okay you got it <laughs> all right you're not much of a talker anyway so it's fine yo y'all y'all what, what to do boss oh is he asleep all right we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait in the lobby real quick hold on rise and shine wakey wakey eggs and bakey mr. Yarl. I think he's getting ready in there, but everyone else seems to be going to their posts. I remember, dude, let me do all the talking. Don't worry, I'll glorify you every way. I mean, you did all the you did all the legwork. Hey, hey, Yarl! How's it going, man? How was your night's rest? I got here in the, the AM. You know, I was just kind of hanging out in the lobby. But, uh, yo, I am back from my adventure. Um, and single-handedly... Kick those bandits' asses, dude. I was fucking ching, cha, boom, ba, so throwing right. elbows left, right, up, down. You wouldn't believe it, dude. Those guys didn't have any idea what the fuck to do. I took care of them all. The Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. I Terrible like you. Yeah. You're not afraid to get your Thanks, hands Thanks, man. Hey. I you know what? I grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Hey! Dude! Fantastic! Thank you! I already have a house in your hold already, so I, I don't need multiple properties unless I feel like doing some sort of, you know, like a rental property or something. But uh, I really don't have my finances in order for that kind of stuff yet, so... There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fame. Hey, don't give me that look. Don't give me that look, dude. Alright, look, I, I, I did what I had to do. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make myself look good here. I just realized that I didn't even get paid for that job. He just gave me the opportunity to buy a fucking house. He just gave me the opportunity to lose money. What the fuck? We're out on our ass, dude. We didn't get any fucking money. Okay, hold on. Let, let, let's let's regroup our thoughts. Come on. We'll find a place to talk. So we got shafted by the girl. We did. We did. We got shafted. It was a little bit fucking ridiculous, I'm not going to lie, but we got shafted. But, but, but we did get a nice little profit from someone's handiwork. That's you, guy with his little fucking cheeks. Look <laughs> at With the sparkle in his eye. He knows what I'm talking about. So I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking me and you team up, you do the legwork, I collect the goods, and we split the profits. You know what I'm saying? Probably like a 99 to 1 split. You get the 1, of course. Or actually probably just 100 to 0, because I'm not giving you shit. I already paid for your services anyways. But, uh, you know, you really don't talk back too much, so I think you're probably okay with it. Come on, Belrand. Let's go out on another adventure.